Hey guys, it's been a couple of weeks, but I am now back in here in the UK. New York was an awesome experience, I gotta say, and New York Comic Con was absolutely huge. I'm used to going to Cardiff Comic Con, but New York is like 10 times bigger, maybe even bigger than that. It was absolutely massive out there. But I had a really good time, I enjoyed it. I gotta say, New York didn't blow me away as much as I thought it would, but there were some nice... Uh, aspects of the city, especially Times Square. I loved the views from the Empire State Building. All great fun. Anyway, so I decided to do a kind of a pickups video. I know, a bit rare from me. But uh, of what I got in New York and also my experiences at Comic Con. So, let's go. First of all, I'll show you this. These were the cards to get into your Comic Con. Basically, these were the tickets. You had to have them scanned to get in and scanned to get out. So it was pretty cool. I felt pretty professional because you had them on lanyards. Hey. So I felt felt like a bit like a felt like a VIP in a way. Does that make sense? Anyway, yeah, so I thought these were pretty cool. So I kept these as mementos. So obviously the walking dead, because the new series started in America Sunday. With us last night, which is Monday. So yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, when I got back yesterday, I went to bed in the evening about half past eight, except for 14 hours. I never do that, so I'm feeling great right now. Okay. So, this wasn't a Comic-Con, but this is this, um, this is a bomb keyring I found at the Nintendo World in New York. That was a pretty cool place. And we actually saw them filming the Nintendo show they put online every so often. Sorry, I really can't remember what it's called. I know, bad for me, that's bad, I know. But there's my bomber king, bomber, bomber key ring, bomber key ring. Anyway, so. Now, found this at Midtown Comics. Uh, Midtown Comics is basically a chain of stores you got there, a lot like our Forbidden Planet, but I'd say this is better and bigger. And I bought this uh, Cena figure from The Simpsons because I'm a huge Cena fan and I enjoy The Simpsons as well. I actually saw this online before I went. Forgot about it. I actually saw it in the shop, so I snatched at it. Price still on there. So yeah, I was happy finding that. Right. <clears throat> Had this for free at Comic Con. Just a little book of Minecraft. Tack on Titan. Titan. Tack on Titan manga. First chapter is free. Comic Con, they give you loads of free stuff. Just for. Um, just for like buying a ticket, they give you 40 free comics from comicsology.com. So I got loads of comics to get through now, so that was cool. Um, right. I found my Black Butler anime Blu rays over there. They happen to be Region B as well. So that's UK compatible. At least I hope it is, I haven't checked it. So I was happy to find those because, well, they're usually quite more expensive than what I got them for. So I bought both seasons of those. Now, I didn't find these to a Comic Con, but I bought them in GameStop. I bought Resident Evil Revelations, uh, pre-owned. And then bought this new One Piece Unlimited World Red. So they were the only two games I bought over there. There were some good prices, some good deals, but most games I had, or I got such a big backlog, I was like, mm, I was kind of like that. But I was going to buy a PlayStation 4 there as well, but then in the end I decided against it. It would have been cheaper, but I was thinking, oh, well, I don't know. I've still got so much to on PS3, it's pointless me getting a PlayStation 4 right at the moment, so I'll let the price drop down again in the UK. And this is the official New York Comic Con program. I actually haven't read this yet. So, uh, basically, it, uh, you've got this, the floor map in this and it tells you where everyone's going to be, which I didn't use on the first day. And actually, on the first day I was there, the first day, I got lost. Yeah. The Javit Center was that big and you had so many acceptors there. It was unbelievable. I failed to notice, like, the aisle number uh, hanging from the ceiling so i was like going around in circles rectangles squares triangles and yeah so i missed quite a lot of stuff out on the first day but then when i went back on a friday i got my bearings i looked where i wanted to go beforehand and i did see everything i wanted to so friday was great thursday 
I was just so overwhelmed because it was just so much stuff there. It was huge. Right. Uh, this is a card signed by Matthew Kardish. He's in is an author for a book called Earthman Jack vs. the Ghost Planet. Um, basically, I've got a digital download copy of his first book. He said there's going to be seven in the series. And it only cost me a dollar, so I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and I'll check this guy out. So he autographed this for me as well, a little card. If I had bought the book there, it would have been more expensive and he would have autographed it, but I thought, got too many books. I got a Kindle, I don't use it enough. I don't know the digital copy. Which I must remember to do because in my emails somewhere over the past several days. Right, what else have we got here? Right. Now, I didn't actually buy a lot of stuff at Comic Con because. I met a couple of celebrities and um, had autographs and photos and that cost a considerable amount. However, I did find these in Midtown Comics. Batman 1966 bust. Um, these are quite collectible. There's only 3,000 made. I've got an, uh, a certificate of authenticity. Is that right? I don't know. You know what I mean. So I'm not going to get the box, so I want it to remain as mint as possible. But yeah, that's that one. And to go with him, I also got the Robin bust. They look pretty awesome, i got to say. That has cost me over $100 together. And I had 20% discount given to me uh, by the people at Comic-Con, so that was great good. Um, I'm going to look, see if there's any more in the series. And try and collect them all, because they could be worth something in the future. And right, so... Yes, when I go to Comic Cons, I, you know, I love seeing all the DVDs, merchandise, stuff they got there. But I do love meeting some of my favourite um, celebs, actors, writers, authors, artists, whoever. And on Friday, I did plan on meeting quite a few. And I did. First up, the lovely Jennifer Morrison. I had an autographed picture of her. To Matt, lots of love, Jennifer Morrison. Now, you probably know her from Once Upon a Time as Emma Swan. Um, basically, i got to say, she's absolutely beautiful. Def oh, man. She's got a small face as well, a tiny head. It's funny. But I had, a, uh, had quite a good conversation with her. She was really nice. Very fan-friendly. Um, she didn't know there was a Comic-Con held in Cardiff, so we talked about that, and she might pop over one day. So let's hope the Cardiff Comic-Con continues to get bigger, and then she will join us. But yeah, she... She was one of my favourite people I met that day. Now, also met Jillian Anson, Scully from x -Files. She signed that for me. Um, when I got to the desk, they wanted $20 extra to make it personalised. Um, Jennifer didn't do that. So I thought, oh no, I'm not doing that. You know, if you're going to be funny. And it was nice meeting Jillian, but she was distant. She, said, she seemed a bit cold. The thing was, Jillian's line was a lot shorter than other 70s lines there and she was right next to Jennifer so I think she must have felt a bit overwhelmed she only came out for like 10 minutes signing went back to have a break and then she sent her assistant out to count how many people were in the queue and she, basically they were waiting for the line to get longer before she come back out but I was waiting there for a good half hour and I was thinking you know okay maybe not everybody here wants to come see you but I'm fan of yours I love X-Files you know I thought you do have people here wanting to see you and then when I went up to talk to her Jason David Frank who plays Tommy the Green Power Ranger in Power Rangers he walked out to his fans he got such a welcome uh, my gosh people were screaming shouting for him and she was looking across as she was with me and she said oh, what's going on what's going on and, and She's kind of like, I'm, I was thinking, hello, I'm here talking to you, this is my moment, you know. But um, I did ask her um, if there's going to be a third X-Files film. She didn't know, but she hopes it will be. And she did shake my hand and stuff, but I don't know, I just felt a bit deflated with her. Maybe she's that kind of person anyway, but, you know, you can't take away, she is a great actress and stuff. But And she must have felt maybe a bit overwhelmed with all the other stabs there, but I think she could have made a bit more of an effort. I still love them. Hey, stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. <laughs> yeah, Shane Helms was uh, at Comic-Con at a booth upstairs with all the other acceptors. 
I recognised him, I went over, because I used to love his gimmick in WWE, I thought it was awesome. And uh, yeah, he was a really nice guy, I had a quick chat to him. He signed this photo for me, we've also also had a photo with him. That's on my Facebook photos in my New York Comic Con album, if any of you are friends with me on Facebook. Then, next to him was Jerry the King Lawler. i got to say, King was great fun. He was really good fun. You know, he's exactly the same as you see him on TV. He was cracking jokes. Um, when he found out I was from Wales, he said, my mum is from Wales, but my dad is from normal parents. So I kind of rolled my eyes at that. And man, his wife is young. <laughs> she nice. So um, yeah, it's great to talk to him. And he even, we uh, had a photo of him as well. And the girl who took it, she stood a bit too far back and she like... Well, King said, oh, no, no, don't do that. Come closer. We didn't have feet in. So, you know, take another one. So he does care about his fans and the quality of things as well. So that was cool meeting him. I thought he was great. Then I met JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. He wasn't as fun as King or Hurricane, but, you know, it's still nice to meet the guy. He was a legend when he was Bradshaw APA. Bit of a douche when he became this JBL. But no, it was interesting meeting him. They also had the Honky Tonk Man there, uh, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, Ted DiBiase. Uh, they had, yeah, they had quite a few different celebrities there. I couldn't meet everybody and, you know, it's quite expensive these days. Even they charge you that's how they make their money. Um, Adventure Time, the the boy who voices Finn, he was there. So, anyway, and the guy who plays... Oh, what's his name? Manu ben Bennett is the actor's name. He plays someone in Spartacus. Crixus in Spartacus. And is it Deathstroke in Arrow? He was there. I didn't get to meet the guy. But I did get to meet my favourite person ever. I thought this would never happen. But she was there. She was in the booth next to uh, Manu Bennett. And she was only there for two hours on the Friday. So I queued early because I wanted to, because I wasn't there on Saturday. She was there all day Saturday, but I wanted to make sure I met her. And that was dun, 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 Lucy Lawless. See, <laughs> there I am so happy in that picture because I always wanted to meet her. I couldn't believe it. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to her a lot because I want I prefer the photo shoot and, you know, photos go so quick. But when she saw my Buck Your Hair t-shirt, she was like, Buck Your Hair? And then, you know, she grabbed me, pulled me towards her, and then, yeah, we had a photo. I said, oh, I love you, Lucy. I was like, oh, gosh. It was an awesome, awesome moment. Really, really. That's my moment. That's just my moment. That's the biggest moment in my life, I think. But, yeah, she's quite tall as well. Look at it. Dear me. But, yeah, she was amazing with her fans. She absolutely great with every single one of them. She loves it. So I was really happy that the person I really wanted to meet lived up to expectations as well. Because, you know, you can meet a hero sometimes and sometimes they fall short of that marker. But yeah, all in all, I had an excellent time there. Despite having really painful aching feet. Because there was so much walking and, you know, Comic-Con first day was overwhelming. I didn't know what I wanted to buy, where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. Wore my Buck Your Hair t-shirt, as you can see in that photo. Had quite a few comments off different people there. And they go, oh, fuck you, I remember that. And it's like, oh, yeah, old school man. I bought a couple of t-shirts there at Comic-Con as well. But I don't know where they are. They're probably in the wash at the moment. So, yeah. It was absolutely awesome. I recommend. Guys, if you can get over there one day, just go do it. Ask me for advice. I can tell you now. Plan beforehand. You'll be fine. Um, I wasn't going to go to Cardiff Comic-Con because of all this. Because that was just huge. But I decided, you know, I gotta go. So I'll be going to Cardiff Comic Con on the 8th of November. I got a book of tickets actually. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, I shall continue the Comic Con adventures. Um, if you want to read more about my experiences at New York Comic Con, I will post the link below to my blog because I'm gonna go and post that now. And yeah, I'm back. I will be in the High Score Challenge this week, and I shall catch up on the two I missed. So Intergos put on his website. And yeah, now I'm back, you'll see a lot more of me. 
Yay, boo, it's up to you. And I'll see you soon. Ciao.